um, a little bit about music and art. I think we'll just focus on music for, for time's sake and just the healing power of music. And I noticed last week when, when, I, when Brad performed a kirtan, it, just the energy in the room was amazing. We were at the uh, Jane's Yoga in St. Charles, and it was just, it was an amazing experience. And I just felt the energy, people were dancing, and you know, there was just this, it was just a great feeling, and I, I just felt really good. Um, Amy, when, when you talk about your music and how it's being used and some of the scientific study, could, could you just enlighten us a little bit on what's been going on and, and that there is science behind that? Yeah, there, there's actually a lot of science behind the healing power of music, and I actually brought several different handouts um, that I just collected and used in different presentations. They're on the table, so feel free to take those with you. There's packets of all sorts of studies and, and references and books. So um, I ac accidentally got into the research end um, and have been kind of in it for the last 10, 15 years. Uh, my first CD, we, research, we did um, quantitative EEG on people and showed it induced a state of relaxation in four minutes. Um, most of the research that we've done deals with the brain waves. Um, what's interesting to note is when we want to induce a state of relaxation, we want to address two brainwave frequencies, the beta waves and the alpha frequency. The beta waves are what we're working on now, very cognitive alert. The alpha frequencies are just a little bit slower, and they, we experience that as kind of like a daydream, zone out. Um, not quite deep meditation, but the step before then. Um, and so our research gener um, grew into the formation of a, the Scientific Arts Foundation. We have a website, you can visit that at your leisure. And the most predominant research we've done is with the CD called The Magic Mirror. And it, The Magic Mirror blends the spirituality, the unification of the body, mind, spirit together. Because um, my husband is such a gifted visionary and dimensional traveler, spiritual mentor, and he literally can travel to places, and he has insights and informations about how they use these different healing chants. He sees that, he's showing me, he's telling me these stories, and I'm hearing the music inside of me. So this music starts awakening within me based upon um, ancient healing chants. We go into the studio, record it, we hold it for two years because something's going on in my head and I can't explain it. Um, through the foundation, we did quantitative EEG on four women going through chemotherapy treatment for, um, for cancer. And we measured the brainwave frequencies. We have, I have a little sheet out there on the table that you can see, and I'll explain it to you if you're interested in more detail. Uh, we got a baseline. They listened to the CD once a day for 10 days. They came back, and every neurological processing imbalance tended to normalize. Um, in all four patients, which is huge because when you're going through chemotherapy, there's cognitive deficits or chemo brain that happens as the drugs um, break the, bra the blood brain barrier. So we were not only stopping the decrease, we were increasing neurological functioning in 10 days with this CD. We also did saliva sample immune system um, pilot study where we took saliva samples from, uh, we did two of them, it's about 17 different people, um, and then had them listen to the CD once and then 24 hours later. And something was happening at 24 hours, so Dr. Abdul Wahid was the person who helped us from um, St. Louis University. He said, let's do it again, there's something going on here. So we repeated it. Um, some people were new in that study, some people were the same, which is interesting. We did before, after, 24, 48, and 72 hours later. It showed a sustained impact on immune system biomarkers for up to 72 hours after listening to the CD once. But what's really cool is that the people who were in both studies the second time they listened to it, their immune systems, and this is Dr. Wahid's words, responded more robustly. And I interpret that as that, it remembered the, the music. It, it had like this cellular memory. It recognized the vibrational frequencies, so it, it, it responded more robustly, which I think is very cool. Um, so why does this happen? It goes back to the rainbow pyramid. We have all these colors in our rainbow pyramid. We don't access most of them. <laughs> um, and the music comes from such a deep spiritual connection. I see the music as being a highway. And the information riding on the highway, and this brings in the quantum um, world as well, the information riding on the highway sympathetically resonates that frequency within the listener. There's no attachment. As a musician, I, do not, I didn't intend to create any kind of specific result. So the highway was clear. So everyone gets to receive exactly what they need. 
And as that frequency resonates within their rainbow pyramid, it balances their whole system. And we showed that with the research. So um, that's just one of the, the things. And all of this was done before I was diagnosed, so I used it every day. I did brainwave research on me. We had measurements on me. My brain was completely balanced. Dr. Um, Collins said he had never, he called me abnormally normal, which was kind of <laughs> cool. But I, I, I attribute that measurable brainwave balance as a result of diligently using the origins process, balancing the beliefs, perception, compassion, purpose, all of that with the music. It all is connected. We are a holistic system.